Hello, good morning. This is Coach Mix Jose. Welcome sa ating goal setting training. Guide to achieving success in USANA. Una-una, informal training lang to. Okay? So expect na medyo uh, para nag-uusap lang tayo. It's not something na talagang production level. Okay? Pero goal setting, it is very important in your business. Kasi dito natin malalaman kung saan tayo papunta. You know, in anything, anything in life, especially if you want to achieve something great, you need to give sacrifice. And minsan, pag hindi alam ng tao kung ba't nila ginagawa, ang hirap magbigay ng sakripisyo, ang hirap magbigay ng oras. So that's why we're doing this goal setting. So that you know, ano ba yung pwedeng ibigay ng Yusana sa'yo? Anong gagawin mo if you become successful in this business? So first things first, I want you to imagine your life five years from now. If you become a diamond director, what would your life be like? Anong itsura? Kung kumikita ka ng isang milyon kada buwan, anong gagawin mo? Okay? So, ililista natin yan. I want you to get a piece of paper. Isusulat natin lahat ng mangyayari kapag ikaw ay naging diamond na. Sabi nga nila, what we are now and where we are now started first with a dream. So, pangarap muna. Sabi rin na matatanda, mangangarap ka na lang din naman. Taasan mo na. Ang sabi din nila, libre lang naman mangarap. So I want you to list it down. Ano bang mangyayari five years from now? If the year today is 2017, what would life be like by 2022? If all of these things become true. Okay? So unang question ko, what rewards, gadgets, toys would you have? Pag naging diamond director ka, una, mong, una kong tanong, anong kotse bibilin mo? Okay, may ka ba sa Apple products or Samsung? May ka sa gadgets, laptop, cellphone? Ilista mo, I want it to be specific. Anong itsura ng bahay? Would you buy a new house? Bibili ka ba ng yate? Bibili ka ba ng aeroplano mo? Would you go on a travel tour? Anong lugar ang pupuntahan mo? Do you like jewelries? Would you have more accessories, bags, clothes, shoes, adventures, buildings, more business? So I want you to write down at least 10 specific things that you will have or you will buy. If you have 1 million passive, when I say passive, ibig sabihin kahit anong gawin mo, wala, wala nang choice. Papasok talaga yung isang million na yan sa bulsa mo. Okay, so what rewards, gadgets, toys would you have? I want you to list down at least 10 specific things, pause the video, and then when you're done, we can continue on to the next slide. Okay, next, what would you do if money is not an issue? Alam nyo kasi karamihan ng tao sa buhay. Nagtatrabaho, not because they want to. Well, marami ang gusto talaga nila ang trabaho nila. But for most people, ang gusto kasi is, well, pera. Katulad ko, siman ako. No, I'm not doing my passion. As a seafarer, I'm doing it out of practicality. Kasi may pere. So you ask yourself, if you have no problems with money, what would you be doing? What is your passion? Alam nyo, I'm, I will be very happy if what you're doing now, passion mo na. My passion is teaching. Okay? Kaso, before, when I wanted to become a teacher, kaso, meron pa akong ibang pangarap. Yes, I'll be doing my passion, but then meron pa akong pangarap para sa family ko. And alam naman natin, yes, it's a noble profession, pero if I enroll to the Philippine Normal University, tapos magtuturo ako, hindi rin ganun kalaki ang opportunity financially sa mga teachers. So, ang maganda kasi sa iyo sana, if you do this well, at wala ka ng issue sa pera, you'll be able to do your passion. So ang tanong ko sa iyo, what would you be what would you be doing now? Sa oras na 'to na pinapanood mo at sa taon na 2022, anong ginagawa mo kung wala ka ng problema sa pera? Some people would say magtuturo na lang sila. Other people would say sasayaw na lang sila hanggang mamatay sila. <laughs> Gardening, housewife, hiking, mahilig ka ba mag-travel, gusto mo mag-games na lang, manood na lang ng TV, okay? Or ituloy yung profession mo. Ibang tao gusto yun, okay? Like for example, musicians. They want their profession, no? if they become really, really, really good at it, ang laki ng kita nila. But yung iba na average, medyo nahihirapan nag struggle sa pera. Pero imagine, if you have no more problems with money, 
then you can do your profession. Diba? Anong charities ang ikokontributan mo? Anong churches? Anong pets ang bibilin mo? Mahilig ka ba sa carpentry? Or mahilig ka ba mag-zumba, mag-gym? Or gusto mo mag-practice ng law? What would you be doing if money is not an issue? I want you to write it down. Okay? And then tell me when you're done. 